Porsche AG, commonly abbreviated as Porsche, is a German automaker with its headquarters in Stuttgart, Baden-Württemberg. Porsche AG specializes in high-performance sports cars, SUVs, and sedans. Porsche Automobile Holding SE owns a controlling interest in Volkswagen AG, which owns the business. The 718 Boxster Cayman, 911, Panamera, Macan, Cayenne, and Taycan are all current Porsche models. In today's video, we will let you know about the history of Porsche. In 1931, Ferdinand Porsche, Adolf Rosenberger, and Anton Pieck formed the business. The main offices were located in Stuttgart's city center. The business did not initially produce any automobiles under its name, but it did provide consulting and development work for motor vehicles. The German government gave the new business one of its first contracts to create a Volkswagen or a car for the people. The Volkswagen Beetle, one of the most popular car designs ever, was the end outcome of this. Many Beetle parts were used in the 1939 development of the Porsche 64. The military versions of the Volkswagen Beetle, the Kubelwagen and Schwimmwagen, became the focus of Volkswagen production during World War II. Porsche created several heavy tank concepts during the war, but lost out to Henschel and Son in the two contracts that eventually gave rise to the Tiger I and Tiger II. The chassis Porsche created for the Tiger I was utilized as the foundation for the elephant tank destroyer, therefore not all of this labor was in vain. In the latter stages of the war, Porsche also created two prototypes of the Mouse Super Heavy Tank. Fabian Mueller, Ferdinand Porsche's biographer, claimed that during the war, Porsche forced thousands of people to labor in their factories. The employees always wore apparel with the letter P on it. It was not Porsche, it was actually Poland. Porsche's corporate identity is derived from the coat of arms of the Free People's State of Württemberg, which had Stuttgart as its capital during the Weimar Republic of Germany's 1918-1933 period. Since the company's headquarters were in Stuttgart, the city's arms are displayed as an escutcheon in the middle of the design. Since heraldic achievements never spell out the name of the armager or the armager's hometown on the shield, the heraldic symbols paired with the texts Porsche and Stuttgart do not make a typical coat of arms. After the political unification of West Germany in 1949, Württemberg-Baden and Württemberg-Hohenzollern both became parts of the current Bundesland of Baden-Württemberg in 1952. However, the Porsche emblem preserves the previous design of the Württemberg coat of arms. The 356 car utilized pieces from the Volkswagen Beetle, notably the engine case from its internal combustion engine, transmission, and various suspension-related parts due to the widespread lack of parts in post-war Germany. While in production, the 356 went through three developmental stages, A, B, and C, and most of the Volkswagen-sourced components were swapped out for Porsche-made components. The 356's engine started using engine casings made exclusively for the 356 in 1954. Erwin Komenda, who also created the Beetle's body, created the svelte exterior. Porsche's trademark designs have always included air-cooled rear engines, which are uncommon for other automakers but provide incredibly well-balanced vehicles. The Porsche 911 was introduced in 1964 by the firm. It was yet another air-cooled rear-engined sports vehicle but this time it had a six-cylinder boxer engine. This was after the business had experienced some success in motor racing with several models, including the 550 Spider, and the 356 needed a significant redesign. Ferdinand Alexander Porsche, the eldest son of Ferry Porsche, served as the team leader for the body shell design. Internal issues arose with Erwin Komenda, who had been in charge of the body design division up until that point, during the 911's design phase. F.A. Porsche claimed Comenda altered the design without authorization. Ferry Porsche, the company's founder, brought his son's sketches to the nearby Reuter chassis company. Porsche later acquired Reuter's workshop. Reuter later transitioned into the seating industry and is now known as Kuiper Recaro. After learning about Soichiro Honda's no family members in the company policy at Honda, Ferry Porsche concluded that the company's size outgrew a family operation and decided to change the legal form from Kommandantgesellschaft or limited partnership to Aktiengesellschaft or public limited company. Due to this, a supervisory board made up primarily of family members and an executive board with members from outside the Porsche family were established. Most of the family members involved in running the business, including F.A. Porsche and Ferdinand Pieck, left as a result of this transition. Ernst Fuhrmann, 
who had been employed by Porsche AG's section responsible for engine development, served as the company's first CEO. The 550 Spider and 356 Carrera models' so-called Furman engines, which had four overhead camshafts rather than a central camshaft and pushrods like the serial engines adopted from Volkswagens, were created by Furman. In the 1970s, he intended to discontinue production of the 911 and switch to the V8 front-engined Grand Sportswagen 928. The 911 greatly outlived the 928, as we now know. In the early 1980s, Peter W. Schutz, an American manager and self-described 911 enthusiast, took over for Fuhrmann. Arno Bohn, a former manager of the German computer firm Nixdorf Computer AG, succeeded him in 1988. Dr. Ulrich Bez, who oversaw the BMW Z1 vehicle at one point and served as CEO of Aston Martin from 2000 until 2013. Because Ferdinand Porsche created the original Volkswagen Beetle, the company has always maintained a tight link with the Volkswagen, VW Mark, and later, the Volkswagen Group. The VW Porsche 914 and 914, 6, each with a Porsche engine and a Volkswagen engine, were created in collaboration by the two companies in 1969. The Porsche 912e and Porsche 924, which incorporated several Audi components and were constructed at Audi's Neckarsholm facility, formerly owned by NSU, were the products of more collaboration in 1976. There were also Porsche 944s produced, albeit with significantly fewer Volkswagen parts. The 2002 released Cayenne shares a chassis with the Audi Q7 and Volkswagen Tuareg, both of which are produced at the Volkswagen Group plant in Bratislava, Slovakia. In June 2007, the former Dr. Ing HCF Porsche AG was renamed Porsche SE, which served as a holding company for the family's ownership interests in Volkswagen AG and Porsche Zwischenholding GmbH. In parallel, a new Dr. Ing HCF Porsche AG was established for manufacturing purposes. Porsche SE and Volkswagen AG agreed in 2009 that their respective automobile production units would combine in 2011 to establish an integrated automotive group. In exchange for Porsche SE management posts, so that Volkswagen management could maintain control, and Volkswagen AG obtaining ownership of Porsche AG, the management of Volkswagen AG agreed that Porsche SE would hold 50.76% of Volkswagen AG. Porsche reported selling 190,030 vehicles abroad and 218,983 domestically in Germany in 2015. The business claims to have the best profit per unit sold of any automaker in the world and has recently had great success. Table showing earnings and volume of vehicles manufactured data for the Porsche SE was not supplied for the years 2008 to 2009. The 1 millionth 911 was produced by Porsche on May 11, 2017. A specially constructed Irish Green Carrera S will tour the world before becoming a permanent display at the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. Porsche has announced that it will open its first manufacturing facility outside of Europe in Malaysia in August 2021. Syme Darby, a partner of Porsche Malaysia and the exclusive distributor of the Stuttgart-based company in Malaysia since 2010, will oversee the local assembly. 2022 saw the production of 321,321 automobiles, of which 41,947 were 911 models, 18,080 were 718 Boxster Cayman models, 91,117 were Macans, 98,113 were Cayennes, 35,241 were Panameras, 36,823 were Taycan models. Porsche Australia stated in April 2022 that it intended to establish an e-fuel production facility on the island of Tasmania. The facility will be the nation's first of its kind, the HIF, Highly Innovative Fuels. Tasmania Carbon Neutral e-fuel plant will be the name of the facility. It's scheduled to make its appearance in 2026. It was all about the history of Mercedes. If you have any questions in mind, you are free to tell us in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel Car History and hit the bell icon on a priority basis to show your appreciation for our channel. Goodbye, have a good day, and see you soon in the new video.